Hey guys, uh, today's video is on a uh, Galaxy 48T. Uh, We're going to do some uh, mods on it. Um, the guy just pretty much wants the power mods done on it, no hi fi stuff. So um, here we go, just a uh, check out of the radio. Uh, give you a little insight of what we got going on here. 50 watt bird slug. Uh, we're dead can. Uh, seven, maybe eight. Uh, so we can do about 15. Now that's at that dead key. Whoops, that's talk back. Uh, we'll do it right about 20. It's usually a safe zone. Uh, uh, that's no good. So let's drop the dead key to where we get the most modulation. Oh, yeah. Run a little 1K tone through it. And then on the scope, it doesn't look bad considering uh, it looks like the limiter's still in the radio, but the negatives, which are at the center bright line, they're not really uh, giving you that um, circular type of figure. So uh, we're going to go in here and we're going to get this thing uh, smoking. And we'll be back. Guys, we're back on this uh, 48T DX48T Galaxy. Uh, we're gonna give you a rundown now. I, I said a couple things wrong in the first video. Um, didn't realize we weren't we were on a 50 watt slug, and really we want to read the uh, center markings. The 10 is 10 watts. The 20 is 20 watts. 30 is 30 watts, and of course 50 in the corner is 50. And before I said it was doing 15, it really wasn't. We were reading this scale under the 10, so it was dead key in uh, approximately about 4 watts, swinging to 8. I uh, just wanted to get that clarified in this video. But uh, let's go on with the program. We're back still on the 50 watt slug. We're going to throw a tune through it first. Show you the scope. The scope already. Look at that. It's about 250% modulation positives. Look at the negatives all rounded. That's the way it should look. Uh, this thing's going to be a screamer. So. Well, all that said, let's uh, get on with the meters. We got the bird meter over here, a uh, 50 watt slug. Uh, we're dead keying about 22, but let's go ahead and do this. We're going to turn the dead key all the way down. About two watt dead key, 50 watt slug. Oh uh, yeah, so 32 to 35, and that's RMS. And then here's the dead key all the way up. It's about a 30 watt key. Oh uh, yeah, and as you see the 50 in the corner, which is the case with most of these export radios with the regulation circuit that's in them. Um, they'll do something like that. Now we're gonna switch out the slug from the 50 and we're gonna go straight to a 100. So here we are with the 100 in here. 100 watt slug, still reading RMS. 30 watt. Oh yeah, hello, 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 audio. So, anywhere from 70 to 75 RMS. Now I know it's going to throw the peak in the corner, so I just pressed the button. Oh yeah, so there you go. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to remove the 100, and we're going to start off with the 250 for peak reading now. That's all we're going to do. Peak reading. Oh uh, yeah, as you see, 250. That's 250 peak watts in the corner. So we're going to flip that one out, and we're going to go straight up to the 500. So we'll slip the 500 in here, and we're going to find out where we're at on the 500. Oh, uh, yeah. So a hair over 300 out of it. So not bad for the little MOSFET amp that's in here. Uh, 75 dead key, or I'm sorry, 30 dead key. Swinging up to 300. This thing's going to be loud and proud, no doubt about it. So, uh, there you go. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If uh, you have something uh, similar to this and you would like something like this done up, just give us a shout. We'll help you out. It'll stick me in at the No Name Amp CB Shop and we're gone.